So let's get started with attack technique number one. By default, an S3 bucket uses SSE-S3 for encryption, which uses an Amazon S3 managed key, which means that it's created, it's managed, and it's used on behalf or on your behalf by the S3 service. However, you can also select server-side encryption with AWS KMS keys or SSE-KMS for short. So an attacker, once they gain access to this account, they can go to the bucket's properties and then they can edit the encryption settings. And they would select the SSE KMS option and then specify their own KMS key. Now, as long as this key resides in the same region as the bucket, it can be from a totally different account. It can be from an attacker controlled account. So in another window, I'm authenticated in a separate AWS account entirely and will pretend that this is my attacker controlled environment. I can go to the KMS service and I've already created a key for demonstration. So I can click on it and then I can grab its ARN value, its unique identifier. Then I'll go back to the S3 bucket in the victim account and I'll set that as the encryption key by pasting in that ARN value. So this key was created with a policy allowing the victim to encrypt data that's uploaded to S3, but they don't have permissions to then decrypt the data. They only have encryption permissions. Now let's upload a file to this bucket. And then once I've uploaded it, if I try to download it, I'll then get an access denied error because I don't have access to perform the KMS decrypt action. The only way for me to retrieve this data is if the attacker gives me decryption access. So that's one way that this attack can unfold, but a second way would be using server-side encryption with client provided keys or SSE-C for short. With SSE-C, you can store data encrypted with your own local encryption keys so that when you upload an object, S3 will actually use that encryption key to apply AES-256 encryption. So when you go to retrieve that object, you have to provide the same encryption key in order to be able to download and view that object. So basically, whoever controls the key controls the data itself, and that's how an attacker can take advantage of that. If you want to see a full breakdown of these attack techniques and defenses, be sure to check out the full video in our profile.